The Maasai seem to be one of the unique communities in Kenya who have maintained their culture all along. Among many other celebrations, Moranism has taken lead, therefore attracting the attention of foreign agencies and the United Nations. The ceremony is titled Olege Shell. <laughs> Olegeshel is a celebration that is normally carried out after a period of 15 years among the Maasai community. It normally involves youths transitioning from childhood into respectable adults of the community. The ceremony is normally organized according to the clan. This event is highly honored among the members of the clan, hence very procedural. This year's ceremony went for only one month from the expected three months because of the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. More than 10,000 youths graduated into Morans in this year's ceremony from Merish etc. <laughs> Today we land in Kajado County, Matapato clan that is made up of seven schemes which include Meto, Osilale, Ilmarba, Lolongoswa, Oldonyorok, Mailwa and Nendonai, where this year's ceremony was conducted. It was attended by very many eminent and prominent leaders of the community, among them being two sons of the late Honorable General Ngaiseri and Kungu Muigai, Patron of the National Council of Elders, Kenya. As we arrive at the venue, we come across slaughtering of 40 cows. This is mainly done by the elders of the community. The blood is not wasted, but drunk by the graduating Morans and even the men and women around. <laughs> This symbolically means acceptance and readiness to be part of the community elders. Men and women are painted on their faces with the red oak, known as Olkaria in Maasai, signifying the beginning of the cultural ceremony. The slaughtering is already completed and the meat seems to be ready for roasting. Even lighting fire is traditional. This elder rolls the stick against dry leaves on the ground and eventually the fire ignites. Later on, they pour dry cow dung on lit sticks. <laughs> The medicinal herbs are boiling, and the meat is boiling too. This will later be mixed and taken as soup. The meat is gently heated by the steam, and it's ready for consumption. Instead of modern plates, the ready meat is put on the plant leaves. The meat is cut into smaller pieces, mixed with herbs, and served to women, not on the plate, but rather on their Maasai shukas. Chairman Kofi Annan says that no woman or man who has committed immorality should take the meat, for it will result into severe curse. Mama, 
hiyo mama mmoja wasi kula hiyo nyama na naonesha tabia mzuri vile ile tabia yetu ya kamasa yuko na heshima but in case one does if father says that there is a remedy for that a time a fine of a cow will automatically remove the curse kumaanisha ile 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 ameanza kuleta ngombe kwa baba yake kama mama ameanza morani kama ameanza kulala na morani kama ameanza kulala na morani mdogo tunaenda kuleta ngombe pea mzee na mzee wakaenda nyumba ya morani ndogo lasima awesi kula hiyo nyama wakikula lasima apatie mama ngombe wameanza kando na mama once one takes olege shell he automatically becomes an elder wakati hajakula hiki hii olege shell sisi hajakuwa mzee sisi ni bado morani and here a large number of women are gathering to get their share of olege shell which seems to play a major role in making of an elder The Moran men are not left behind. They are too taking their share. Just like any other spiritual nourishment, this chanting removes away every cowardness and the spirit of braveness fills every moran in the occasion. When the spirit seems to diminish, their centrally standing leader calls for more. They are refilled again, this time round stronger than before. The Morans then line up for further blessings. This time round, beaded rings attached to bamboo is dipped into mixture of moratina, a traditional wine, and honey. Then later crowned to the Morans. <laughs> As elder Olenga Pashi from Likitu Ip Edgeset explains, they choose a black bull with horns for slaughtering. Its blood is then mixed with traditional wine commonly known as moratina and pure honey. All the 49 households take part in sharing this blood. Kuna vitu vingi vimefanyika. Kama jana ungelikuwa hapa jioni, kuna ile dume ambaye tunasema ambaye tunasema ni dume ambaye inachaguliwa ambaye ina rangi fulani kwa mfano kama huu huyu wa leo ambaye alichinjwa ni nyeupe nyeusi sorry nyeusi ni nyeusi kabisa na ina pembe kuna kitu inaitwa emal ambaye wame weza kunywa asubuhi baada ya huyo ngombe kuchinjwa huyo ngombe baada ya kuchinjwa damu inatolewa kwa hii mshipa inachanganywa na maratina ambayo imepikwa na asali peke yake haiweki sukari vijana wakanywa lakini saa nyingine haiwezi tosha wote haitoshi lakini kuna wale viongozi hasa wale ambaye wako kwa hii boma 
kwa sababu hizi nyumba ni 49 According to him, the bull must come from among the graduating youths who are a firstborn from the cleanest family. The family must not have participated in any immorality and generally unwanted characters. Na huyo ngombe ambaye imechinjwa leo ni kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anachaguliwa, anaangaliwa kwa kina wazazi wake yeye ambaye ni mtu nasema it's like somebody holy it's like a saint somebody ambaye wazazi wake hawajawahi fanya makosa hawajawahi pigana kama baba yake hajawahi mwaga damu mama yake hajawahi fanya vibaya na huyo kijana ndio katika nyumba ya mama yake ndio mkubwa ndio leo amewapatia wengine hii sherehe ya orinyesha dume yake ndio ilichinjwa special rings made from animal skin are worn on their fingers to show blessing they are then given bamboo sticks covered with animal skin mainly for carrying tobacco this shows that they have reached at the age of taking tobacco if one takes tobacco before graduating, he will attract a fine of a cow, according to the culture of the Maasai. Kutoka hapo, kuna hizo strips, straps, inaitwa straps. Sinawekwa kwa hii kidole. Maana yake ni baraka tu. Hiyo ni baraka. Kuna sehemu ingine ya... kitu ya kupakwa hapa ya kupua kwa ile kitu nini ya tumbako ile kondeina ya tumbako inapakwa pia kwa sababu hiyo kitu hiyo kondeina ya kuweka tumbako kwa wazee wa samani ni ishara ya kuwa wewe umefika umri wa kula tumbako kwa sababu kabla ya sherehe hii kuruhusiwi utamaduni hairuhusu wewe ufute labda kitu kama sigara labda kitu kama uwezi kula tumbaku labda uwezi kustile ugoro lakini ukifika ukiapishwa kama vile tu hawa watu wamefusu leo sasa wanaruhusiwa pia kuwa wazee wa kula hizo vitu a good number of morans between 10000 and 13000 youths from merish age set graduated today from matapato clan to become elders this is according to the statistics from Olengapashi. Na idadi ya wale ambaye wamefusu leo kulingana na vile tumeangalia ni karibu watu elifu kumi paka elifu kuminatatu. Hiyo ndiyo idadi tunakadiria wale watu wamefusu leo kuwa wazee ya erika ya Merishi. Mr. Muigai Kenyatta, patron of the National Council of Elders NCE Kenya, who was also a witness during General Ngaiseri's Moran graduation 50 years ago, was also present to witness the sons undergoing through the same. He was here to act as the father of the two sons, Andrew and Kennedy Kasaine. Jina yangu ni Captain Kongo Muigai, na mimi nakuanga patron wa National Council of Elders, patron ya waze wote Kenya, Tuko na chama yetu, na ito National Council of Elders, na mimi die patron. Lakini kwa leo, nimekuja hapa nikivaa kofi ya mbili, ya kwanza, hapa bisri, mimi ni kama nyumbani kwangu. Iko rafiki yangu, mbaya liaga, halikuwa na ito Major General Joseph Ngaiseri, mbaya alitoka hapa. Na mimi mara yangu ya kwanza kuja hapa bisri, 
ilikuwa miaka hamsini iliyopita 1970 tukiwa na General Ngaiseli na hivi leo kijana yake ni moja ya hawa wanahudumu leo kuwa wazee na nikaona kwa sababu rafiki yangu hayuko nikuje nisimamie hiyo kijana kama baba yake na ndio niko hapa anaitwa Andrew Kasaine ndio niko hapa kumsimamia usione kama rika ya babake ilikisha He cited that such celebrations are recognized even by our constitution and also by the United Nations and thus are legally done and should be practiced even by other communities. Shughuli kama hizi lazima zitegewe kwa sababu wakati unakuja hapa unahukuji kufundisha mtoto yako ama mtu ya kijiji yako unafundisha dunia na sherehe kama hii inaweza kukuambia ime, ime, ime watu ya United Nations wame, wameitabua na hiyo unasema ni kweli serikali imesema itakuwa ikigaramia kwa sababu tukipoteza hizi maneno tukipoteza hizi mamila e, hata nchi yetu itaangamia. The elders spit libation on their faces as a sign of blessing. This is done as they take oaths strategically. Kofi Annan is the chairman of Matapato clan. He says that once I'm around, respect becomes inevitable. Family rapport begin and brings about oneness in the community. Jina naitwa Jina naitwa Kofi Annan Kanore Mimi ndio chama ya Sikim Saba Matapato Naongoza watu yote na umeongoza usalama na nemo anaongeza naongea kwa ajili ya tabia yetu ya Kimasai yani kitu ya kimila yetu yani kimila yetu as if father explains once one has taken olegeshel you become moran there after gaining respect and in return giving the same to the community at large na nafundisha watu tabia nzuri na tafuta na fundisha sisi tabia ya kitamaduni yetu ya kimasai yani heshima ya semeji Mrs. Ellen Pilali Ngaiseri, wife to the late General Ngaiseri, who is also a mother of Andrew and Kennedy Kasaine, arrives joyfully to witness her sons graduating into elders of the community. She was overwhelmed with joy and could not lack words to say. Aya, niko na furaha sana. Tulikuja kuona vijana waki graduate kuwa wazee na kwa familia yetu hii ni desturi ambayo tumefuata hata mzee akiwa hai kulea watoto wetu wasi wasiwache mila mzuri kile mbaya tunawacha lakini hii ya leo ni mila mzuri kwa ajili inasaidia watoto wawe responsible wajue kwamba they belong to the community and they are accountable to the community. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu ya kwamba hata nao wenyewe walikubali wao wawe pamoja na watu wao wasijitenge kwa ajili kuacha mila ni mtumwa. Asante. Andrew and Kennedy Kasaine could not hide their joy too and they now give a clue of all the process and stages involved and as well as an advice to their fellow youths and the Kenyan community at large. Tumekuwa tuki tukijoana tangu tuwe wachanga. Uh, tumemaliza uh, many rites of passage. Uh, kama navy na ile ya vijana inaitwa ngibada kabla tutairiwe leo tutaikutairiwa 
tunaenda Orbul kukaa kichakani kula nyama na kunywa supu. Alafu kuna Eunodo. Ye ndio sasa tuna tunanyoa manyole ya Morani. Alafu kuna Engango Ngusidi sasa ndio tunaenda kutengeneza mafamilia. Alafu sasa ya mwisho ya leo ndio inaitwa Olngesher. Olngesher sasa ndio sisi tumekuwa sasa wazee. Wazee wametu wametupatia eh, wametubariki umetupatia mawaidha tunaambia sasa tunaweza kaa nao tunaweza kuwa waongozi tunaweza kushika nao kwa wazee so wazungu wanasema we now have a seat on the table uh, of, uh, of 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 men so it's a great blessing it's a particularly special day for uh, for all of us uh, because this is where we come from and uh, i'm very pleased that uh, my family has been here to witness this occasion with me and uh, as, along with my friends so i feel like this is a very special day day for me i think this is a this is a very this is a very special traditions i think uh is these stages ambayo watu wanapitia inasaidia mtu ku kukoma kikimila na we are now taking an oath of brotherhood and togetherness and we are always going to be there for each other so it's particularly special for all of us. Thank you. Kenneth Kasaini. Na tumekuwa huko tangu mapema sana uh, kabla hata jua iwake kutoka saa 12 tuliamkia kwanza tukapakwa rangi kichwa ndio sasa tukaingia Manyata tukaendelea na procession siku mzima mpaka sasa saa hivi saa kumi saa hii imeisha tumebarikiwa na wazee barika ya baba zetu uh, no mimi sijakuwa tangu manyata ianze vile inakuaga tuna nominate watu kutoka clan zetu wale wana to represent kwa manyata so si lazima kila mtu wale wana graduate waingie manyata kuna some dedicated ones but on this final day sasa sisi wote tunakuja and we take part and this is a long process that's been going on from uh, since you're about 13 years old you start a process when you're put in one uh, age set baada hiyo mnatairiwa nyi wote alafu you follow different initiation processes ya kimasaini na sasa this is the final one uh, inaitwa ongesher na ni kusema sasa warani ama sasa watu sasa wamekuwa wamegraduate wamekuwa sasa wazee kwa community so yeah, ni siku muhimu sana from a very young age so na hii sasa ku, kuisha na hizi na, na, na kubarikiwa na wazee it's very important and uh, it's not something that uh, it's something that people should 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 take part in it is now evident that this is an official ceremony not only in Maasai community but also in Kenya being that such ceremonies are recognized by the Kenyan constitution and the United Nations every community is at liberty to showcase their culture the Olegeshel ceremony will be conducted as scheduled probably 15 years from now as per the Maasai tradition. We will now be waiting to see whether other communities will get to its roots to revive their culture as advised by Mr. Mugai Kenyatta, the patron of the National Council of Elders, NCE. We wish the entire Morans good life endeavor.